hey guys welcome back to my channel for another video if you're new here welcome if you're a returning subscriber welcome back so guys in today's video i am going to show you guys how to make product photos at your home using stuff that you can get at the dollar store as you can see guys i was at the dollar store picking out some stuff for product photos idea and yeah i went to the dollar store and i got some props because props are very important to make your photos or your pictures look very professional i got that yellow background i will not be using it in this video but in further videos i'll be using it and that's what that was what i got guys and it was only 15 dollars for all of that okay so you can go to the dollar store and see what you can put in the background of your pictures that will make it look good then next i went to winners because i was looking for some wood um some wood props and i'm like let me check winners out of course winners is more way more expensive and i didn't find what i was looking for but before leaving the store i just went over to another section and then i saw some things that i was actually looking for um the wood section was there and i saw the that you use it's a coarser you use it to put on your table i'm like i can use this definitely so i got that and I went ahead and I got that cute little bathtub looking thing. It's very cute. And I went ahead and I got that as well because I have some ideas in my mind and you guys will see how I use them. And of course, I had to get something for myself. It was much more expensive because I got um, something for myself. So yeah, winners is great for props as well. And yeah, let's get into make, showing you guys how I stage my my scene and all of that so guys what i'm using there i will leave the link down below for that tripod it is very effective especially if you're doing a lot of overhead flaming this is amazing this is an amazing tripod for you to use you can put your phone in it and as you guys can see it came in pretty handy because that's what i used to put the leaves props in and i got those leaves props from the dollar store as well so guys mirror is going to be your best friend when you're doing product photography because mirror just made everything looks so good as you guys can see that's the first scene that i'm staging and i'm basically going for a natural theme because my brand is all about being natural and i chose the green color one of the reason is because of the fact that it's like prosperity and it shows naturalness in um in the product so adding the green theme and green leaves to it and having it um showing in the in the um mirror it gives the product a good you're gonna see guys it made the made the, the, the picture looks so professional as you guys can see let me zoom up a little bit I'm going to show you guys at the end some of the pictures that I took don't worry you guys will be seeing all of that so this is just uh, some ideas that you guys can use to take your product photography um, your product photos <laughs> and um, the camera that I'm using is a Canon M, I think it's an M1, EOS M1, I will leave it down below guys, and I'm using 50mm lens, the, change, the, the, the lens, the kit lens that came with this camera is a 45mm, it wasn't giving me what I wanted it to give, so I researched the best lens for, for, for product photography photography and um the m the 50 millimeter lens came up as one of the most popular ones so and i realized why it's so popular because this lens is just amazing but of course if you have a phone like an iphone a samsung you're able to take quality pictures as well with good lighting 
for this photo shoot i was using um natural lighting as you guys can see how clear and beautiful those picture came out using natural lighting and having the right camera setting so on to the next staging i am basically staging my moisturizers um that i want to put on my website i am going to however remove the props some of the props so really and truly i only needed to put like um all the glass because i like the glass so i'm going to take get rid of the leaves out of it because i don't want it to have too much things going on for the three moisturizer i don't want any type of this this um distraction of the props doing but i'm gonna show you guys a more close-up look because the camera was a little bit far from you guys and i apologize for that it's very hard to flim record while you are doing something it's not easy but i try my best to do it for you guys so that you guys can get some ideas on how you can like stage your stage your product for best photography so guys as you see there the coursers came in pretty handy i was so excited that i got them and i just love the wooden the how natural it looks i just love that oh it is i changed my mind i went ahead and leave the props there <laughs> It's like that guys the ideas just come as it goes as you lay the, the props You're gonna see that it's looking nice and you're like, okay Let me take some picture with it looking like this because it's looking good staging it like that So I did went ahead and I took a few pictures with the um, The leaves over the moisturizers and I also took pictures when there wasn't any leaves over the moisturizers so wh while you while you are staging your product you whenever you see something that it looks good you can just go ahead it won't it's not gonna hurt hurt it's just go and make take a picture of it and then you can know how to edit it so you might have an idea in mind but while you're staging um other things start to reveal that I have guys when you are um, taking photos of your products and they're like rolling off the the stage you just can put some tape just get some clear tape tape on the bottom and stick it to the surface that you're you that you want to stick it on and trust me this won't move so there I'm getting the tape to put it at the bottom and stick it to the surface so that it won't be moving along when I'm trying to take the pictures. So guys, when you're taking the pictures, try to get as many shots as you can because sometimes some of the pictures don't come out as you want so it's best if you just keep taking it until you get some nice shots and then you can um delete what you don't like edit what you like so instead of getting two three get more so that you can choose you have a lot to choose from because you don't want to go ahead and do this all over again so guys i'm gonna go ahead and stage um for the next scene again and i'm just gonna leave leave it right here for you guys to continue watching and don't worry guys all the pictures all the results is at the end of the video so don't forget to leave a comment down below and give this video a big thumbs up and please subscribe if you have not already and thank you guys so much for 400 subscribers we're over 400 subscribers thank you guys a lot i'm we're moving towards 500 subscribers so if you have not already subscribed i would appreciate it if you could hit the subscribe button and also the post notification bell so be notified whenever i upload a video 
if you um know anyone that is starting a small business or have a small business that need this type of information just head click the share button and share it to them um deeply appreciate it and yeah i hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video bye guys And guys, I forgot to mention that at the end of the video, you're going to get a surprise photo shoot pictures. So if you guys want to see a video on how I took those photos as well, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and comment down below to let me know that you would like to see how I took those pictures that will be at the end of the video.